So we'll start off with an exercise called tapping. This will help to stimulate energy and blood flow to the heart and lungs. So making two loose fists, begin to knock on the chest, just alternating, just tapping on the chest, nice and easy. All right. You can go up and down a little bit here, just in different areas around the chest. All right. This also helps to stimulate the thymus gland, which is right behind the rib cage, which is really good for boosting our immune system. All right. we'll do it for a few more seconds here, and then when you're ready, you can relax. So the arms float down, and then bring the hands to the lower abdomen. You can bring your feet together or as close as you can, and then you can close your eyes or just keep a soft gaze, really feeling the body, any sensations that you feel, just noticing. Then as you breathe in, the belly expands. And as you breathe out, the belly returns towards the spine, abdominal breathing. Breathing in, coming into the present moment, Breathing out, arriving in the body. And then one more time. This time you can hold the breath at the top of the inhale just for a moment, and then let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> just letting out tension and stress. The hands can float down by the sides. As you breathe in, the arms float out to the sides. They circle in front as if you're gathering an energy right into the heart and send it down through the body and into the earth, sinking the chi, the life force energy Let's do that one again, breathing in, breathing out. The chi is sometimes translated as the breath. So gathering in the breath, and then letting go. One more time, sink the chi. And then from here, you can step one foot out to the side, either foot, just to about shoulder width apart. Then the hands float up in front to about shoulder height. Then the arms get heavy, floating down. Breathing in like mist rising from the lake. Breathing out, fingertips floating down like a soft rain. We call this opening the door, the start of the journey. One of the first movements we do in traditional Tai Chi. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. This time the arms circle in front, making two loose fists. The forearms come towards each other, rounding the back. Then reverse direction, the arms come out to the sides, opening the shoulders and chest. Breathe out as you round. Breathe in as you open. It's called spinal cord breathing. Stimulating the energy along the spine, opening up the chest, using the body to assist with our breathing. One more time, open. And this time the arms float out to the sides, the palms face up towards the sky, the hands float up the midline, then turn at the heart, press up overhead, and then the arms float out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in as the arms float up, opening up the shoulders and chest once again, decompressing the spine. Breathing out. Nice and easy, nice and slow, feeling all the sensations that you can bringing mindfulness to your body. One more time, holding up the sky. This time the hands float up to the heart, then one hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting above and below. The hands come back to the heart and then we'll switch sides. So keeping the spine neutral at first, and then this time we can do a side bend, but never forcing it, always easing in. Just opening up the side body, do that on the other side. All right, now this time, as the arm comes up, you can place the other hand right on the rib cage, and then breathe into your hand, really opening up the side of the lungs. And then we'll switch sides. So the bottom hand comes up right on top of the rib cage, and then breathe into that hand, letting go. Then the hands come together in prayer position right in front of the heart. Then the arms float forward and then out to the sides, arcing out. Then they come back towards each other in front of the heart. Breathe in as you open. Breathing out. Call this the heart opening breath. Nice and easy. Nice and slow, just as much as you can. One more time.
And then from here, we'll round out the arms as if you're hugging a big tree right out in front. Breathing in, the arms open. Breathing out, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand right on top of the other, right at the lower abdomen. Then this hand here drops down and floats all the way up and over, and then down the midline of the body. Then switch sides, breathing in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering. We'll do that again on the other side, creating mental focus and clarity. One more time, centering. And then this time, both arms float all the way up and over, just as much as you can. And the hands float down to the waist as you soften the hips and knees. And circle the hands in front as if you had a big ball right in front of the body. Scooping under, back up to the heart. And then down. And one more time, all the way up and over. Down to the waist, we call this opening the heart. This time we'll make a diamond shape right in front of the heart and then press out, reaching, connecting, sending out all your loving kindness out to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. Then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. So I hope you enjoyed the flow. And so now I'm going to show you three of the best exercises to help with relaxation, for energy, and to reduce stress. All right, so we'll start off with just one for relaxation. All right, so you can do this standing or sitting in a chair. All right, I'll just do it standing so you can see. All right, so we'll start off with what's called the belly breath or abdominal breathing. So we actually did it at the beginning of the flow. And so we'll talk about it a little bit more in depth though for, at this point. So place your hands on your lower abdomen. All right, so the idea is that most people breathe from the upper chest in the neck. They use what's called the accessory muscles instead of the diaphragm. So sometimes this is called the diaphragmatic breath because as we breathe in, if we breathe in efficiently with our diaphragm, then what happens is it pushes down. So we breathe in, the diaphragm actually pushes down, which makes the abdominal area expand. So that's why that's happening. All right. Sometimes we say breathe into the belly, but it's actually going to the lungs. But the diaphragm pushes down, so that makes the belly expand. So it's like we're breathing into the belly. All right, so placing your hands on your belly, breathe in, the belly expands. Breathing out, the belly returns towards the spine. All right, so breathe in into your hands. It's another way you can kind of think about it to really start to activate the diaphragm. All right, so trying to keep your upper chest quiet. So now eventually we'll move on to breathing into the chest as well, but for now, try to keep the chest really soft. All the, the tension is breathing into the belly belly expands, that means we're activating the diaphragm. All right, so this can really help create relaxation over time. All right, so then you can relax. So that actually helps to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. All right, so our nervous system has two ends. We have the parasympathetic, which is the rest and digest, and the sympathetic, which is the fight or flight. When we breathe with our upper chest and our neck, we activate the sympathetic, the fight or flight, which makes us feel stressed, ready to, act, ready to run or activate our muscles. But a lot of times we don't need that during the day. We need the, actually the opposite. To, we need to balance it out with the parasympathetic. All right, so that can help with relaxation. So the next movement, the next breathing exercise is called the three-part yogic breath or the three-part complete breath. All right, so this one can help you breathe more efficiently. All right, so now that you've learned how to activate your diaphragm, then we can start to integrate the rest of the torso into the movement, into the breathing. All right, so we'll start off once again with the abdominal breathing. So we'll take a few breaths, breathing in, the belly expands, breathing out, belly returns towards the spine. Abdominal breathing. So now we want to get the side of the torso involved. So place your hands on the side of the lower ribs. 
All right, so as you breathe in, breathe into your hands. So try to expand laterally out to the sides and then relax. So breathe in, expand. You can do a little bit forcefully at first, but just take it easy. You don't want to get lightheaded. So if you feel like you're getting dizzy or lightheaded, then just do uh, less forceful breathing. So that's the second part, is expanding laterally. All right, and then finally, we'll, we will activate the upper chest. So you can cross your hands over your chest, or you can hold them here, touching your collarbones, whatever is easier on your arms. And then breathe into your hands now. So that's how we activate the chest when we breathe. We can take a few breaths. Noticing the difference between the abdomen, the lateral torso, or the sides, and then the upper chest. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is all three. Okay, so place one hand on your lower abdomen and then one on your chest. And as you breathe in, the belly expands, then expand laterally, and then the upper chest. And then reverse direction, the chest softens, sides relax, the belly returns towards the spine. Breathing in, the belly expands first, then the sides, then the upper chest, and then slowly softening back down. Breathing in, breathing out. The three-part complete breath. One more time. And then you can relax and just notice how you feel. So that can really help make you feel more vibrant, increase your vitality so that you feel more alive, and you can really feel like you're more engaged throughout the day. All right, so we have the belly breath for relaxation. This one can help with efficiency, so it can help with overall breathing. And then we have one more breathing exercise I wanted to show you. It's called the fire breath. Now this one, if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure or you have some breathing impairments or lung issues, then you might wanna skip this one. Um, make sure you check with your doctor first if you feel like this one might not be the best one for you. If so, you can continue with the belly breath or the three-part breath, and then maybe just wait to do this one until you feel more comfortable. But if you feel okay to do it, it's called the fire breath and it's a stimulating breath. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna forcefully exhale through the nose and then passively inhale back in through the nose. All right, and so I'll show you what it looks like. We're gonna do 10 breaths. All right, I will do a few just to show you. So you can place your hands on your abdomen once again, and then as you forcefully breathe out in a short little burst, then the abdomen contracts. All right, so it looks like this. So you can see I'm forcefully breathing out through my nose. You might wanna get a tissue for this too. And so, especially if you have some congestion. This will help clear out some, maybe your sinuses too. And so what we're gonna do is 10 breaths where we're gonna breathe out through the nose, but then what happens is we passively inhale through the nose again, and the belly expands. All right, so you should see it's kind of like a recoil. So the belly kind of expands as you inhale. All right, so that's what it looks like. Let's do 10 together. All right, once again, you can skip this one or you can just do a few and then see how it feels. All right, so we'll begin. All right, so that was 10 breaths. Once again, noticing how you feel. So that one's called the fire breath. I hope you really enjoyed the Tai Chi flow today. Now, if you wanna continue, then I recommend trying out my latest video in my Easy Tai Chi in Asheville series. And so in this series, I go to all the most beautiful places in Asheville, North Carolina, and we do a Tai Chi flow where you can just follow along and then also build balance of body and mind. So just click on the link right here to go to the latest video in the series, and I'll see you over there.